what's poppin you guys it is me Ra. it is she Ra. it is be Ra. it is scorpion red several and i am back at it again back back at it again yes indeed this is my singles pick a card reading this is the hey new boo where are you reading yes indeed this is the reading for all my single 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 ladies and fellas out here that are so sick and tired of hearing past life energy about people in their past being triggered by uh communications from their exes and all of that stuff we don't want to hear that shit y'all we do not want to hear that shit so this reading is for all my single singles that is past all of that old shit and we want to find out what is new coming in our life about new energy new people that we have never met never experienced before you guys we got some um characteristic their physical characteristic cards in here so we're going to get some details about what these people may look like um what they're currently going through, their personalities. We're really going to get into the tea, you guys. So this is the Hey New Boo, Where Are You? Pick a card reading. My name is Scorpion Reds. This is Scorpion Reds Tarot. If you have not, um, you know, been familiar with me before, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for sharing your love and light over here on this page. Make sure that you come through, like, share, and subscribe if you like the content, okay? So we got four different groups that we're going to get into right now. This is group number one. All right, we got group number two. We got group number three. And we got group number four. So you guys take a second, focus your energy, pause the video, go back and look at the thumbnail, figure out what group you want to get into, and we're going to get into the T with me with V. And let me take a quick sip of my coffee. Y'all already know. Mm -hmm. And before we get into the readings, y'all always know, I always uh, want to take a second and praise God and just give him, you know, acknowledgement and um, respect and love for bringing this here. So if you want my, let's bow your head real quick. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the collective to get this collective reading. This is the Hey New Boo, where are you reading? Um, this is a group that is completely open to new love. We thank you so much for washing away any past energy because, you know, God don't bless no mess. And, you know, the next thing to godliness is cleanliness and singleness, single, singleness. So, um, Father God, we're single right now. We're clean, we're clear, we have a firm direction and where we're going and what we want to receive. So, Father God, please give us the guidance that we need to receive right now. Please give us, um, you know, a little insight on our dreams and what you got cooking for us, Father God, because you know you got something planned amazingly great for us uh, in regards to love. So, Father God, thank you so much for healing us. Thank you so much for revealing things to us. Thank you so much for bringing us that inner strength and that inner self-love that we need to receive this type of love, generosity, and um, faithfulness that is uh, coming our way. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. All right, you guys, so let's... Put these cards to the side. Okay. And let's get into this. So, if you picked group number one, this is your reading. Let's get into group number one. I'm going to go ahead and put this on. So, um, let's see what we got. First, we're going to get into... Should we save the tea for the... I think we should save the tea for the last... <laughs> We're going to say the T for the end. We're going to put that up here. Let's get into some characteristics, okay? So you got yoga. You got the full moon. Yes, the time has come. I love this. It says fall full moon. Fall full moon. Oh, so it's like a full harvest type of thing going on. Good balance, cornucopia, good harvest, looking fat, plump, the universe being very generous. I like that. And you got waterfall, overflow of abundance. I feel like this is someone that is very emotionally clear. This is someone that has like good sense of self. This may be someone that... um has experienced so I feel like this is someone that could be like an older individual here 
that eats well, that treats their body like a temple. That um, I want to say they seclude themselves from nonsense. You don't see them hanging around clubs or like low hanging fruit at all. This person really focuses their energy and their day to day on things that are going to bring full harvests. Full harvest. Cornucopia. I, I'm just getting off the top. Like this person may be a little heavy set, thick in the build. Kind of have like thick thighs or just like, um, like a husky broad chest or something. Let's see what we got. We got the judgment. Mm-hmm. This is definitely someone that is starting over. I feel like they've paid their dues. They've earned their respect to a society. God, I don't know why I feel like this is someone that might have had some, like, prison time in their past. But, I, uh, let's see what else we got here. You got the Ace of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, so this is someone that is starting all over again. This is someone that has had to take time to themselves. Um, I want to say currently they may be going through a moment of seclusion with this Ace of Cups in the reverse. Uh, there isn't any current options in their life that they feel like they can find any success in. So if it's not something that is going to be like overwhelming, fulfilling, you see this waterfall, like this person wants somebody where they're going to be emotionally clear and free and happy in knowing what they're doing right now. They don't find that um, person in their life that has that emotional strength or emotional integrity where they feel like um, they would be justified in making any sudden moves. Like I told you, like this fall, full moon. Full moons is about releasing and forgiveness so that new opportunities, um, like making amends with any type of faults or, um, why am I hearing restitution that you may need to pay from past times? Yeah, well, I feel like this is someone that is like paid their debt to society. I just heard it's like they don't want to experience that anymore and they don't want to be around low hanging. Didn't I say something about low hanging fruit before? This person is um, a very much so a good judge of character. It's about, yeah, judgment. I, I, I just heard it's like they spoke their piece. Like, they, like they're going to speak their piece. They're going to speak how they feel they're going to um it's like they're kind to everybody but has a watchful eye um out of because it's about people's um perception of you and your integrity um because it's like you are what you eat and if you hang around a whole bunch of riffraff and things regardless if that's the way people see you or not like there's still some like underlying judgment. So this person has um, gone through tests. This person has washed clean any type of um, idiocracy. I want to say bad company, family, friends, old colleagues. I want to say this person is a loner right now. Like this says, emptiness. Block creativity, loneliness, intuition. So at this time, they could be rebuilding, like on an emotional standpoint, spending time in this singleness to kind of get back to, um, I heard the fruits of their old labor, something old, something that they used to do, something that really used to um, bring them happiness that used to fulfill their cup, but it's only something that they're used to doing. Like this could be someone that try to bring their friends, their family, maybe the people that they were dating along with them. And it just never really, people never see it the way 
that you do when you have dreams and aspirations and things. So like this person is learning how to start over, how to recalibrate, um, how to tap back into their gifts and talents. They're refilling their own cup. Um, they don't feel the need to bring other people along with them. This is a journey that they have to do on their self, by their self. So this is a person that I don't think that they're on a journey or a search or in the need for love right now. They're in the need for creativity. They are in the need to get their juice back. They're in the need to like get that creative spark back into their life because it's like they lost it along the way. Um, trying to fulfill the emotions of them and other people as well and sometimes you forget who you are and what your dreams are what your aspirations are and um i, I just heard uh, uh, people got swept away the waterfall says overflowing abundance chasing after something cry emotional release letting go fulfillment release tears of joy again and with the judgment too so I, I just heard it's like everybody has to answer for their self. And, and you have to be your own individual. You have your own story. You have to be the leader of your own path. And it's something that you just had to do. So it's like I might have had to. Um, I, I heard this person might have had to walk away from a group of family and friends that would just. Wow, I just said I heard not happy for their increase. This person is definitely coming to um, a new sense of abundance. And it may be something that they're not something they're not. It's not something that they're used to doing. It's not a feeling that they're comfortable in. Um, and that's the real thing. Have you ever like your whole life struggled so much? Um and always been going through life's ups and downs and hardships that when it's finally over, it, it's just like an unnerving feeling. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just like, I don't have anything to worry about anything anymore. I don't have any pain. I don't have anything to cry about. I don't have any bad people around me. It's like, I could just focus on me now. It feels good, but it feels weird as shit. <laughs> I really do feel like this person is going through that. <laughs> With this fall full moon, it says, accumulation of efforts, complete abundance again, fulfillment, release, fruits of your labor, focus on your needs, harvest, moving on. Yes, the time has come. I just said that again. It's again a confirmation that this person, it's like they're ready now. If these type of people and individuals were in this person's life, when they bump into you, group number one, they would hate. They had to try to cling on to this individual to distract them from being able to build something with you. They'd have been jealous that they're not able to receive the bounty of this this person's fruitfulness and harvest because they want to because this is a very um spiritually wealthy person it's a difference when you're physically wealthy physical wealth can come and go spiritual wealthiness baby you cannot have today you could wake up today and only have 10 cents in your pocket and before you brush your teeth wash your ass and walk out of the damn door you don't hit a cash app and <laughs> you got people take baby huh <laughs> gotta cover you you ain't you don't ever have to worry about anything that's that's a different sense of wealth that's a different belief system that's a different sense of healthiness this person got that forever glow <laughs> Do you feel me? Do you feel me? This person has gone through a lot. And with this person going through a lot, this person has developed 
a great sense of self and maturity. This person is going through the process at this current moment. Um, and it may seem like they are being judgmental to people at this time. But they're focused on fulfillment. I feel like they haven't had true emotional fulfillment um, for a long time. I feel like this person had been looking forward in other people. But now they're realizing that it's, it's in self. Because maybe the um, highest level of happiness that they've ever received was off of something that they created alone. Let's get into the physical. Um, so this person may have multicolored hair. If it's a female. And if it's a male, I'm seeing the bald head. But the age range is 27 to 45. Okay, so for my women and or um, I want to say like it could be salt and pepper hair too, salt and pepper color hair. Like their hair could finally be, you know, going through that change where you're starting to see the gray. Mm -hmm. There be um, might be putting some color treatment in there where you can see the gray popping out under, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but I don't know especially with this um, depiction right here with this age right oh this is a very handsome individual has an amazing smile an amazing smile so let's get into the tea let's find out what's the tea you got clouds this person like I said is going through temporary problems right now temporary problems it said mule someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change I'm letting you know they are having to separate their self away from people that just does that just don't understand this individual right now. They don't understand where they're going. They don't understand why this person is changing or acting like that. It's because they want growth. This person has gone through a whole lot. Why I want to keep going through the same shit with the same individuals every fucking day? This person wants happiness. This person don't want a half full cup. This person wants to receive full overflow, emotional happiness, wealth, and prosperity. Why not? But I want to share it with the right people. And if it's not right now, it's, it's not the right people around this person. And that's why they're casting judgment. It may look easy to do, but it's, it's, it's a hard decision that this person is making right now. So this person is making room for the right people to come into their life. You got fair man. Dylan's or relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. Like I said, this person has gray hair. I feel like this person is, like I said, the age range 27 to 45. Definitely a mature person. For sure. And um, let's read this yoga card. It says contemplation, deep breath, centered, go within, study, balance, relax, taking a break, take a break, inner child healing, meditate, time alone, balance, chakra, reflection, wellness rest I promise you this person is taking a step back from certain individuals that don't need to be there anymore because if these people were around when they meet you they would get in the way and it would it would cause major conflict with any happiness, any growth, any level of success that this person is trying to bring in their life. That's why they're casting judgment. That's why they're cleaning their self right now. And you could look forward to meeting this person around the fall. All right. All right. So group one, it's been fun. Shalala. All right. 
All right. So y'all let me know how y'all feel about this reading. Y'all come back and let me know if you meet someone with gray hair in that age range. Okay. All right. Y'all let me know. Let me know how it go. All right. And I love these new cards, y'all. I love these new cards that I got. I'm so glad that, you know, God blessed that you can invest in your success. Hello, bars. Stop playing with me. Okay. <laughs> hey, let, me let me take a sip of my coffee. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes, sir. So, group two, what it do? If you have picked this bracelet, the Evil Eye bracelet, this is your reading. Let's get into it, shall we? So we're going to save the T for the end here. We're going to save the T for the end. So let's see what we got. Woo, we got a tornado, baby. Uh-huh. They going to come and kill. <laughs> Why well, I just heard they gonna come in kicking and screaming. Oh my goodness, like why do I feel like you're gonna meet this person? It's just gonna be a very strange situation. I feel like you're gonna bump into this person when they're going through I don't know, like an accident. Why am I seeing people in the um gas station and it's like it's like at a 7-Eleven gas station or something. And somebody is backing out as someone is like pulling in. And there's like a car accident. And it's like you're coming out of the store. And this person is like going the fuck off. It's like going off. Like you, It's like I can't even believe you backed into my car. Like how the hell you didn't see. And like this person has a nice ass car as well i just heard like this person has a banging ass studio apartment like in the downtown district like in the touristy area floor to ceiling windows like bachelor or bachelorette pad i feel like this person is spicy like what like you're going to see this person <laughs> Why do I feel like you're going to meet this person in their element going the fuck off? And I feel like it turns you on like, oh, <laughs> don't play with her. <laughs> don't play with him. What? Oh, my God. Let me see what else we got. We got the store. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just heard stand tall in the pussy. Hello. <laughs> And it's with intention, okay? They gonna make you spin around on their dick like a goddamn spin top. Do you understand? Y'all remember them spin tops? You go, okay, girl. Do your, do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to the floor? Can you tie it in a knot? Can you tie it in a bow? Can you throw it over the shoulder like a continental soldier? Do your ears hang low? Okay? I ain't reloaded. This person is not playing. This person is very tall, attractive slender but I, they have like a very um fit build like give me like skinny nigga type of you know vibes but if you see this person take their shirt off and they got like a wife beater or whatever playing basketball oh no you can see the little six pack and the muscular definition and everything like that oh yeah and I really do feel like, you know what they say about them tall, skinny niggas. Listen, they'll stand tall up in some pussy now. Don't fucking play. Don't sleep. Don't sleep. All right? 
I feel like this person is very athletic. Will spin you around for... Let me shut the fuck up. Because y'all is doing too much group too. Y'all is doing too much. I feel like this person is perfect timing for you. <laughs> like, this person is on your clock. Like, this person is on your ass group too. Okay? Like... When you meet this person, you ain't even going to know what hit you. I feel like it's an adrenaline rush with this person. Okay, let's get into it because, listen, okay. Mm -mm. Let's see what we got here. We got tools. Mm-hmm. I just heard it. Look, they got the tools in every aspect of the job. They sharp enough for you in regards to wit and intelligence. They got enough speed and agility and ferociousness. Okay, around. Okay, there. What? Yeah, it, what? Bitch. <laughs> what is going on? This person is a mess. Let me read this real quick. It says tornado. It says storm brewing. Torn up. A sudden expected end. Violent. A total wreck. A breakdown. Liberated. Over and done the end. Whoa. Yeah, I just heard this motherfucker came and shake shit up. I heard that this person has come to bring death and destruction to anything that you thought that you knew that you had. So if you thought that you had a man, if you thought you was talking to somebody, they just coming through the... <laughs> look, they, look, they getting rid of all of that shit. Delete all that shit, Pinky. Delete all that shit. Delete all, delete all that shit, Pinky. You don't know them no more. It's about me. <laughs> it's about me, 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 me. It's all about you, 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 you. So what you gonna do? Listen, this person said, I've come to tear this shit up. I'm sorry. I'm a home wrecker. I'm a disrespecter. Okay? I'm a bitch collector. Stop playing. <laughs> I'm a home wrecker. I'm a disrespecter. I'm a bitch collector. Stop playing with this person. Okay? Yeah, they came and took your bitch and don't give a fuck. And I will do it again. Okay? Go tell a couple of your friends. Okay? We gets disrespectful around this bitch. I seen your bitch at the 7-Eleven and I said she's going with me to heaven. She's going with me. The fuck? Don't care how you feel. You wasn't holding on her that way, was you? Now, was you? The fuck? Bitch, I come to bring transformation. <laughs> I come to show you, bitch, how a real nigga stands all in the pussy. Nigga, you wasn't doing it right. <laughs> Ooh, this says change, active. I'm trying to tell you, like, this person is trouble in all of the fucking good ways imaginable <laughs> like this person ain't shit but all of the shit <laughs> oh it's a transformation active renew restless i'm trying to tell you this person is not going to stop ain't gonna come in like a tornado Okay, I came in like a wrecking ball. Get that shit out of here, okay? <laughs> Get that whack ass nigga, that whack ass bitch the fuck out of here. They ain't got shit. They ain't, they not, they ain't doing what the fuck I am doing. What? What? Ay, caramba. Look, look, unexpected end, a sudden, torn up. A total wreck, a breakdown, liberate you, over and done, the end. God damn it, Jimmy. Whee! Mm, mm, mm. This says, arrive, depart, move, renovate, pregnancy, birth, slender, tall. Ooh, you better watch it. Because I done clocked it. You see the clock? I done clocked it. He timing up for you. He done been on bust your ass open, girl. Let me try to tell you something, girl. He got the tools. He can do it. <laughs> How much wood could a wood chuck chuck of a wood chuck could chuck wood? All of it, bitch. All of it. All of it. Girl, let me love you down. Girl, even if it is alright. And bitch, what? <laughs> Woo! It says practical ability.
abilities, resources, has what it takes. Okay. I am reloading. Application. Build it. Fix it. Organization. Help someone. I'm about to help you get rid of this fuck nigga. Like, bitch, you don't need... You don't need that shit. I don't even know what the nigga... Look, I'm telling you, it that nigga ain't me, bitch. So these... You don't need them. <laughs> what the fuck he's saying? Let me help you organize your life and get shit out your way. Girl, okay? Well prepared, equipped, get shit done, masculinity. I... Is this motherfucker an Aries? Like, I, I mean, this is a cocky motherfucker right here. Like, this have a, an Aries, an Aquarius. I can see a Leo doing this. I can see a Cancer doing this. I can see a Cancer doing this, too. Oh, this, this right here? Can, oh, my God. Shit. Bitch, you better find something else to do. You better find something safe to do. Please find something safe to fuck to do with this. Well, hold on, y'all. Mm-mm. This motherfucker come and take your girl. Look, you got the Knight of Cups and the Three of Cups. Y'all, this person is a good time. This person is a good time. This person is always going to be taking you out, introducing you to their friends. Y'all go on out celebrating every weekend. Y'all go eat out so much. Like, this person barely has food in the refrigerator that is not some type of takeout or something. Like, this person is, um, I want to say every day they find some reason to celebrate their very much. I, I feel like this person, this is very much so giving me cancer. This is giving me a cancer energy. This is someone that... Family and friends is very important. And I feel like they're going to, like, pull you in immediately. Like, within, like, two, three months' time, like, you already might have met a brother, a sister, um, a best friend. Because y'all going to be going out with each other all of the time. Like, you're going to always be going out with these people. So, you're going to become a part of this group, uh, of this family, of this friend. Like, this person is constantly going to be, well, what you doing this weekend? What are you doing? And, like, I feel like this person talks to you a lot. I want to say, like, you could, it could kind of, why am I hearing a bugaboo, a bugaboo? You make me want to throw my page out the window. To, uh, 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 to cut the phone off. Like, but it's not in a negative way. This person is always calling you happy. This person is always giving you something to do. This person is always like hooking you up with someone. Like if they're not going out with you, it's like they're putting you on somebody else's friends list so that you can connect with them. You know... To find shit your way. Because it's like this person knows a lot of people. So if you're trying to build a community. If you need um, to speak to uh, a specialist on a certain subject or matter. This person has a friend for everything. This person knows everybody. I feel like this person is going to show up in your life a lot in the sense that a lot of people gravitate to them. So this person is going to make you feel very special that you were the one out of all of these people, out of all of the popularity out of all of the fun it's like they want to come home to you they want to be with you in every aspect of their life they they know how to help you and uplift you in some type of way but at the same time it was like this motherfucker will protect you like for real like a knight in shining armor like this person won't even let you walk on the outside of the sidewalk um like, if y'all are sleeping in the bed, like, you gotta sleep near the wall. Like, this person is a protector. 
this person is a leader. It's like Prince Valiant. But oh my God. It's like when you meet this person. The way you met them. Was like them being a firecracker. You know what I'm saying? Like going off on somebody. Like about to fight. Or get into some type of confrontation. Or something like that. I don't think that you. Realized how sweet this person really was. on the And, and, just, and like how smart this person. And how much access this person has. To so many things. Like you wouldn't. You would not have thought that. Just by meeting this person. But with this stork right here, this person wants a very big family or has a very big family. I don't know if this person doesn't have any child, doesn't have a child yet. But um, I feel like this person is most definitely, especially because I was talking about a lot of sexual things. Um, and like a lot of major endings, like. Things just crashing down, like things that you thought that you knew, uh, places that you used to go, people that you thought was your boyfriend or girlfriend, like all of that shit is about to change now. Like this person is, um, I heard salute. Salute. Is a night. So I don't know if it's like going to put you in a uh, position of honor, like teach you how to honor yourself, like how to dress, how to act like a lady, um, or as a man, how to carry yourself with, like as a distinguished individual, someone with class, someone with dignity. So it's like something going to change. I don't know if it's like if um, as a female, like if this female used to hang around like, uh, I don't want to say like classless individuals, but you know, like that hot girl shit, how girls be walking around and literally you just got bra and panties on. In a sheer outfit and y'all walking around acting like you not fucking ass naked walking around in broad panties. Like, this person, especially if it's a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, they not having none of that shit. Like, my woman ain't walking around looking like that. I don't give a fuck how, yeah, that's cute for me. But you ain't about to be walking around giving every fucking nigga, like, fuck no. It's like, and again, I'm hearing salute. It's like... It's teaching um, this woman how to respect herself. Like, really. It's like you honestly in a class of your own because I want to say the type of people that they hang around, they wouldn't respect you like that if you, if you hung. You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't respect them if they, if he hung around with that type of, like women that, that, that carry themselves like that. Like, they would not um, be invited to such of an upper crust, upper class setting. So you can't dress like that. You can't act like that. You can't talk like that. So again, like a protector, a provider, a nurturer. Um, like I said, someone is tall. Someone that, I don't want to say like hovers, but extremely protective over his family and individuals that he loved and especially if this like as a, a mother because you did hear pregnancy and and and, and again watch out because especially if this is a cancer pisces scorpio individual they love having a good time and they love intimacy they love that this is someone that would love to have a lot of children a lot of children okay okay I am reloaded so let's get into these physical features alright we got curly hair and dark skin
skin tone. All right. So this person will have curly hair and dark, chocolatey, beautiful skin tone. Let's get into the tea. Let's get into the tea, you guys. Let's find out some more information. Dog, close up, pleasure with a close friend. So you may meet this person out. <clears throat> you heard that confirmation. You may meet this person while you're out celebrating, enjoying yourself, being with people that you know. Someone may hook you up with this individual or like I said, you may meet this person while you out hanging with your friends, stopping at the gas station and you see an accident in the damn parking lot or whatever and it's this guy or this girl going the fuck off because someone hit their car and everybody was supposed to be going out to the club and it's like y'all ended up realizing y'all going to the same place or coming from the same place and I want to say like everybody was just having a good ass time but you end up meeting this person and it's by chance it's by chance of you being with someone that's very close to you, you're going to meet this person. You got the scissors. Disappointment in some affair. So you might have to cut someone off like as soon as you meet this person. I don't know if it's the friend. Whoa. Chain. A chain of events that will affect your life. Whoa. Because remember, it's like, as soon as this person enters your life, something's going to end immediately. Like, immediately. As soon as you meet this person, something else is going to end immediately. It's like this person comes in like a wrecking ball. And it's like... This person gives you an adrenaline rush. It's like, I can't even believe that happened. It's like, when you go back and y'all tell people the story of how y'all met each other, it's like, it was so sudden. Like, <laughs> it was so sudden. Like, this person hit my car, my ex boyfriend's car, or my ex friend's car. I don't even talk to this person anymore, you know? It's like something like that. But you like meet this whole new group of friends, this this whole new family, and it's like you have this whole new sense in, uh, of access that you've never had before. I want to say like it was destined for you guys to meet each other. You guys bring each other a lot of happiness. I just heard it's like you had to cut someone out to get to the good shit. I want to say it was like that the, someone would have blocked your access. <clears throat> someone would have tried to block your access to this individual. Like, especially because, like, the way that you met him or her. <clears throat> like, this close-up friend would have tried to tell you, like, to cut this, to, to cut that person out because of the way that you met him. And not even realizing that that chain of events was meant to happen. Because you see how protective, you know, this person is. Like, this person will, like... Fight tooth and nail to honor you. And maybe the person, this friend or whoever don't have nobody to respect them or to honor or to protect them like that. And maybe they might end up being jealous. Like, who knows? Um, I know one is coming in, another is going directly out the door. I don't know if it's a family, a friend, a lover, but there's going <laughs> to... Like I said, storm brewing. The fact that you met this person and the way that you did it and how sudden this change for everybody is, 
it's going to cause an uproar. It's going to make a lot of people upset. It's going to cause jealousy. And I don't think you give a fuck about <laughs> what you're creating while you're doing it. I think you're just <clears throat> wrapped up in the success of emotions. If that makes any sense. So, again, these are the characteristics. Uh, not char These are the characteristics. This is what is going to happen. This is what this person is going through. This is what this person may look like. Male or female. So, uh, that was very interesting. Group number two. Shout out to y'all. Y'all let me know down in the comments how y'all feel about this reading if it resonated did it, did it make you feel excited like how would you feel like that whole scenario i just got like y'all tell me what's going on in the chat y'all let me know what's going on down in the comment section let me take a coffee break real quick hold on all right let's get into group number three would it be if you picked this bracelet it's all about you, boo. What it do. This is a beautiful bracelet, too, ain't it? I love this one. This is so cute. All right, so let's see. <clears throat> let's see. I believe this is the pile that um y'all got a lot of tea cards. I mean, a lot of tea cards. Way more than any of the other uh group so i am very interested to see why all of this had to come out like what the hell is going on so group number three what it be let's get into the tea hey nubu where are you all right where you at boo where, what, what's going on all right so let's see we got the sap Ooh, come on sweet nectar Come on. Let me tap, tap, tap in. Okay? Ooh. Had to tap that real quick to get that juice out of the middle. Ooh. Ha! <laughs> Whoa! Wowzers. Ooh. Ooh. You had to tap, tap, tap. Ooh. Okay. So what else we got? Ooh. You got the house. And then you got the bouquet. Okay. Oh, okay. Hold on, y'all. Put out that flame. That shit was too hot. It was getting all the way. It was touching the bottom. Oh. <laughs> was he touching the bottom? Okay. Did you squirt? Oh. Y'all, why are y'all so fucking nasty? Group number two and group number three. What is going on with all this extra sexual, extraterrestrial shit going on in y'all's pile? What is going on? You got all the juice squirting out? The sap? Touching the bottom? Good got him? Uh-uh. Like, I cannot take y'all. Let me find out. Oh, and the bottom of that candle smells so good with all those herbs and, oh. Uh, Ooh. Mm. Okay, so just off the rip, you guys. I feel like the true T with the person that you're gonna be meeting, this person got flavor and this person smells so good. I mean so good. Like when you hug this person, you can smell them. The cologne, their perfume, or whatever it is that's on them for like a couple of hours afterwards. Like you'll see yourself like, mm, like sniffing your shoulder, like, oh, what the, oh, that person smells so good. Like you could just tell every time this person walk in or enter or, or leave a room because you could just smell their essence. Is this person, oh, oh my goodness. It says resources. Needed material, flow, wealth, the essence of life, spring, blood, nourishment, sweetness, energy, vitality, grounded, roots, abundance, physical health, and life force. 
One thing I can tell you about this sap card, do you know the richness that lives within? My friend, do you know the richness that lives within? Think about what we use almost every day, every morning, especially Americans. What do we eat in the morning? Pancake with syrup, with butter and syrup. Now, we always go by the cheap syrup, but real maple syrup, Canadian maple syrup. Do you know how expensive that shit is? Do you know how expensive that sap that comes out of that tree in Canada, in, I say in Canada, in Canada is? To have the wealth of resource of natural, pure Canadian maple syrup. Oh my goodness. To have access to something like that in your backyard. Well, the only thing you have to do is just tap in. You put the tap and just watch it drip. <laughs> mm. I want to say someone is going to have... Um, easy access to your home I want to say I I I I, I was going to say to your home and your stability but I want to say that with a level of understanding that this person is bringing gifts that this person does never comes to your house empty handed this person knows that um, you got to sweeten the pot. You got to sweeten the pot. So, not to make this like too much about a sexual thing, but this person may love how moist you are, how you taste. You know, this person may really enjoy your wetness, like your overflow like you may like you leave a big spot on the bed or they leave a big spot on the bed just like eating you up it's like they can eat you for hours and hours and hours it's just like oh my this is the type of person that will call you on your lunch break like just come out to the car I just want to eat your pussy real quick hop in the back and you're just like oh my gosh just like listen I just want to eat you up like it, it's something about your essence and like they might even want you to like grow your hair you know what I'm saying down there just a little bit or whatever because they love like your natural smell and things like that like they love it Oh my God, this person is always giving to you. It's like they love your smile. They want to do anything to make you smile. They send flowers to your work. They'll leave gifts on your car. Like you may come outside of your job and it may be like a bouquet of, of flowers and a note on your, on your car. And you know who did it. And you know who did it. And they just do this at random. Like, it's almost a joke. Like, like they be playing, like, this little game on you. You be feeling like this like this person is somewhere recording just to see your reaction. And you know that they are somewhere hidden because they want to watch your reaction. Like, they get a kick out of doing this. But it's so special to you. It makes you feel so good. It makes you feel so appreciated. I don't think you've ever had anybody to, like, actually court you and just, like, dope and love on you like that. It makes you feel so good. It really makes you feel so good. Like this person feels like home. Very welcoming. Very warm. And like I said, extremely generous. Y'all may spend a lot of time indoors with each other. Um, and if you guys do go outside, like I said, it's date night. It's date night. It's a special thing. It's one of those treats, it's one of those gifts, it's one of those things that this person just like doing because they like the smile on your face. And like I said, this is the authentic. This isn't the knockoff 
uh, Safeway Select brand. No, this is the real. Like you have access to the real natural sap that is used to create this lustrous syrup that everybody wants, everybody tries to recreate, everybody tries to knock off and duplicate, but you got the original. You got the original. So, I feel like you got like someone that really enjoys like the old school methods of courting, the old school methods of dating, like that's very important to this person. Very important to this person because if you want your relationship, if you want um, your surroundings to be secure and there to be stability, like you got to pour into it. You got to tap into the sweet essence of what's inside. Like what is inside of this person that'll make this person happy that'll make this person smile we're not just dealing with the surface level shit nah i need to tap in because i really want that poor like have y'all ever had sex with somebody that didn't warm up the engine and just wanted to rush you know what I'm saying? And then think that you're going to really enjoy the experience. Nah, like, you got to do a little foreplay. You got to do, you got to warm the engine up. You got to tap in. You can't just, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, this person know the sweetness that's in the inside. I don't want no surface. Like, I want that shit all on my face. Okay? This is someone that is really going to put that work in. I mean, really, really, I mean, because they, they want that juice. They get off on just watching you, I mean, when your legs and your thighs start clenching up on their face and you start, no, and they're pushing back and just, girl, that motherfucker going to keep, keep, keep on, keep on, keep keeping on, listen. Oh my God, I cannot with y'all. You got the four swords and then the seven of swords in the reverse. All right, so I feel like this person may be coming through or overcoming like some type of surgery or some type of procedure. This person may have been, um, I heard the, uh, uh, um, Well, I heard this person may be healing from a hit and run accident. It's like some type of um, vehicular accident or mistake or it's something. But whoever it was, they got caught doing like they didn't get away with whatever it was, whatever happened. And this person is like healing from type some type of accident, some type of mistake. It was like an accident happened of some sort. I feel like this person is about to get like some serious settlement money because of some accident. It could have been something that happened on the job. Well, I feel like this person's foot is healing. I feel like this person's foot is healing. Maybe that's why this person has also been spending so much time at home and it's, a it's important that this person finds someone that they can like rest and relax and find some level of comfort with because this person is healed. Yeah, someone got caught doing something. And it's like this... You see the four swords, it's like this person has not had a chance to really go outside and um, experience the world like they are supposed to. It's like they've been bedridden for a while. 
I want to say that they're just now kind of like trying to get out. Hmm. I, I definitely want to say like this person got quite a little bit of money. I don't even think that they've even had a chance to spend it yet because they've been inside. They've been healing. I don't want to, um, this isn't a hurt individual because I want to say this person right here, this seven of swords, like this person knew what they were doing. They knew what they were doing. Excuse me. This person knew what they were doing. They made a mistake in trusting the individual. I want to say that they got some type of warning about this individual that created change in them. They could be resting it out and kind of getting their uh, wits with their self. Because this is something, this wasn't a learning experience and it's something that they won't do again. So I don't know if this is like a physical mistake, an accident, where they're healing from, I want to say like a foot injury or something. Did something fall on somebody's foot or, and it's like it got caught on camera. I want to say. Like, this is an insurance claim. I want to say if it was not for the fact that this shit was caught on camera, like this person's job or whatever was going to try to get away with not paying them or let this person deal with the pain and suffering on their own in the financial um, aspect of this accident on their own. But no, you got caught on candy camera, bitch. There's evidence and like, no, you're going to pay for all you're doing. Because you should have thought better next time. Because next time you'll put certain safety um, hazards or, or, or whatever, like you'll, you'll, whatever safety hazards or whatever it is that you weren't doing before that you were trying to get away. It's like someone was trying to get away with not covering something, not doing something. So they were trying to get away with something. And that person knew what the fuck they were doing. And they thought that if I just don't tell anybody or if there's no camera or there's no footage or there's no nothing, then it's hard for them to prove. No, bitch. I got what I need to prove. And you caught and I'm about to sit back here and I'm in joy. Sit my ass at home. Watch your boy collecting me a motherfucker check. And I heard whatever this is could take them all the way into retirement. So whoever this is, is like they're going to be sitting good. Real good. Hmm. I just heard whatever it was that happened to them, it was something that they shouldn't have been doing alone. Like they should have had backup. They should have had coverage. They should have had someone spotting them or something. And they were doing something by themselves. And they really should not. They should not have been put in that predicament. For something like that to happen to them. If you understand what I'm saying. And. The people in charge did not want to take responsibility for it. But they don't have no choice now. They don't have no choice. And I, I honestly feel like. As soon as this person can get out. Can get out of the house. And go outside. And can experience more and is done healing, they're going to be doing a whole lot more with you. But right now, I feel you may got to tap into this person on a different level because I want to say, like, this person is on disability, like, this person is like on disability or disabled, or um, I want to say after this accident, like this person may not be able to move around a lot or do things that they were used to doing. I don't want to say like this person may be in a wheelchair for a minute. 
Which person may be bedridden for a minute. This person may have to go through like multiple uh, reparative surgeries before they're like fully able to walk on their own without crutches. Um, it's like they may have to get some like type of pin or something in their leg or in their hip or something like that. But like after they finish like these surgeries, like this person will be good. But oh, they're going to be sitting on some. Oh my God. Oh my God. What is this person going to be? Yeah, whoever this was, they're going to pay for real for this mistake. So, uh, whoever's dating this person, they just might not be able to go out much. Um, but they're going to spend a lot of time with you. They're going to. Uh, they're going to find themselves wanting you a lot more because I feel like had they not been in this recovery stage where they kind of had to sit down and kind of look at life in a different way, they might not have spent the time with you to get to tap into you and get to know you like that, you know? Um, it's like this transition in life forced them to do things differently. Hmm. Okay, the bouquet says uh, happy, harmony, beauty, creativity, a gift, art, reconciliation, expressive, gratitude, appreciation, oneness, love, warmth. Yeah. It's like this person is thankful to have you in their life. Like they love it when you come over and spend time with them. Like it means a lot. And whoever it is, I feel like they're just thankful that you're open to doing things with them in a different way. Because it's something about the fact that this person has to spend so much time inside. It's like, I want to say like they kind of feel bad that they can't take you out as much but I want to say God knows what he's doing because there's a certain level of intimacy with this group and this person is so sweet and I honestly think that if if this would have never happened if this accident would have never happened if um I don't think that you would have met this person in, this, in the same way it says home, belonging, roots, comfort, safety, family, traditions, framework, structure, buildings, shelter, boundaries. It's like this person like gets to grow and develop something with you that's so natural. Like I said, this is being tapped from the natural source like homegrown type of thing hmm let's get into the physical attributes you got pointed nose you have West Indian all right now you know I love me a Jamaican all right, you know I love me a Jamaican. So let's get into this. Well, I just heard this person say that they feel like they're getting extra light-skinned because they, <laughs> they haven't been able to go outside. It's like they need some light, some vitamin D on their skin. It's like, oh, my God, they can't wait until they... Uh, are all healed up and able to get back to their physical health. Because you see, the t uh, sap does say physical health. So this could be an earth sign as well. Um, earth sign is what? Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Very sweet individual. Let's get into the tea. All right. So let's get into the, let's get into the tea. All right. Group number three. He says the eye, 
psychic ability. Trust your intuition. Trust your intuition. It says, butterfly, a change for the better. What is this butterfly doing? Getting the nectar, getting the sap. Mm-hmm. Directly from the source. Pollinate and stop playing. It says a woman. Dealings or relationships with a woman. Alright, this could be a Jamaican woman, West Indian, Trinidadian, you know. Guyanese. And, and yeah, I just said homeland, home roots, rooted. Hmm. Let's see what we got. We got love. We got the astral house of love. So this is like a major arcana here. So this is definitely pointing to a love situation. All right. Let's see. March. So you're going to meet this person around March. Come on now. That ain't too far. And then what else we got here? Ant. Work, achievement, and success. I want to say like this person may be a little stronger than you are. I want to say that this person could work their self to an overload almost. That's why they hurt their self. I want to say that's how this person ended up hurting themselves. I don't know if they're a heavy lifter or a builder or like it's they were trying to pick up or they were lifting something way bigger than their size. And like I said, they should have been doing this shit with help, but they've been used to doing this shit by themselves because they didn't have any other choice to do it. It's because they didn't have the resources or the help at work. And this person got hurt. This person, but I promise you, they about to get a paycheck directly from this. Y'all, tap, tap, tap in. Group number three, I really do feel like there's a lot of warmth. There's a lot of love. There's a lot of passion with this group. This person is sweet as pie. And the thing that I like about this individual is they enjoy pleasing you. They enjoy giving to you. They enjoy making you happy. They appreciate you being in their life because a lot of people wouldn't accept a broken person. They wouldn't make the effort to drive to their house multiple times a week just to spend time with them because they know that you can't go outside and they can't take you out on dates and they you know and it's like you're so patient and it's like this person is going to make it worth your while because when they can finally get their ass I do listen when they can finally get their ass up and move around and do the thing. Why well, I feel like this person has got like one more surgery left. It's like they got to do one more thing. God, why well, I feel like God, it's like this person just like wants this shit to be over with. Oh my God. But at least they got someone to love them and to support them emotionally this time. And that's what means so much to this person. And I promise you, group number three, um, trust your intuition. Trust your intuition. A change for the better. Trust your intuition. Mm -hmm. You're in a safe place. And I want to say with this um, group number three, you both have been around a lot of snakes and fakes you've been around you survived a lot of um traumatic obstacles a lot of um i i, I just i don't even have words 
you see how those two swords is in the ground? It's like you made personal. You made a personal decision to choose yourself, to see people in um, situations for what it is. You're thankful that you survived all of the crooks, the snakes, the abusers, the users, the manipulators, the people who really were not your friends, the people that didn't see happiness for you, like the people that did not provide you with the right amount of support. Like you've learned so much both in this journey and where is the one or the two of you like someone might be going through a physical healing and um repairing of the body mind and the soul um but you on a mental level you've gone through your own journey and level of healing as well and i feel like you guys have survived um a lot of shady characters where you can really appreciate genuine people genuine sweet individuals sometimes you forget or you think that there's no more <laughs> people left like you in this world there's no more people that care like everyone's out to get you or take advantage of you or just not genuine and it's like you you met the sweetest person in the world naturally sweet not that artificial shit because really that artificial sugars and artificial sweetness that shit is more harmful to your body in the long run than you just having a natural shit you know too much sugar ain't good for you but that artificial shit will kill you quicker than the real thing so um this has been y'all's reading and again this love is going to come in March. Group number three. And this person is a leader. This person is very determined. And this person is willing to carry weight that is even bigger than their self. And they're used to doing it and they're good at doing it. And that's why God made them sit down because it's not meant for them to carry all that stuff on their own. And God sent them you. So, <laughs> sha la la. <laughs> sha la la. Come on now. All this good love right at home. All of this good love at home. And everybody don't need to be a part of that experience. That's just for you. That's just for you. Everybody don't need to see the gifts. Everybody don't need to know what movie y'all watching. Everybody don't need to know what meal y'all creating for the night while y'all snuggled up. You know, with your new love, with your new boo. Hey, new boo, where are you? Okay? This one at home. <laughs> okay? This one is at home. Healing. Alright? So, I love it. I love it. I love it. So, let's get into my last group. Group number four. Group number four. Hey, new boo. Where are you? If you picked this bracelet this is your reading this is that red tiger's eye yes sir i love that bracelet let's get into this reading we're going to put the t right here at the top we got three t cards let's see what we got oh we got the chess card all right this is smart individual Mm-hmm. i'm getting that aquarius energy but you see we got virgo right there at the top but oh yeah i love me an aquarius Every Aquarius that I know is a very good chess player. Let's see. We got the Wheel of Fortune. Why I just get this mysterious energy with this group? Hey, new boo. Where are you? What is you into? What is going on with this person? Group number four, I want to tell you this right now, especially for y'all to have the, the red tiger's eye bracelet. The red tiger's eye bracelet. You guys are a very sharp player. Like, it's 
deeper than rap. Okay, this is deeper than rap. You guys are making your next move your best move. And like this is a faded circumstance. This is this is something that was already written to happen. And that's all I'm going to say. Like, I, I feel like, honestly, there's going to be a lot for you to experience. Because God is not going to tell you everything about this meeting and this person. You just got to let it happen. But it's, it's I just feel off the break. It's like a level of mystery with this last pile here. Anyway, we got the moose. This a big motherfucker. God damn. This a big dude. But this is a big, tall, statuous woman. Like a stallion. Like Meg the Stallion. Like that's kind of what I'm getting. Like tall. She could be like 5'11". 5'11". Thick. Thoroughbred. God dang. Like. You ever seen, you ever been like in a mall or be in a grocery store and you see like a big, it's like a big ass moose just tall, just like the legs on that jump is tall and just thick and muscular and just solid. You just like, God damn, you see that big ass motherfucker? It's like, this is someone having to be male or female, the whole world can't. Do nothing but stop and stare at you. It's like they marvel at you. At this creature. Like what the. Like what the hell did your parents look like? God damn. Like what? I heard marveling at your design. Chess. I feel like with this chest here, this person is very much so aware about how people stare at them, what people think of them, what people have to say about them, how curious that they are. And I feel like they feed into it. They feed into it. They give them... The level of mystique. The level of mystery. So I want to say. I want. Why am I saying like a face cut? Like you know how. Like a celebrity will have a baby. But they'll only post a picture of the baby's hand. Or, or a picture of the a person's foot. Or something like that. So I feel like this person. It's like everybody sees them. I feel like this person is not a big talker. It's like no one gets to know them. Or this person doesn't let people inside like that. This person lets people see their talent. But who they are internally. Their personality is still a mystery to the world. Do you understand what I'm saying? And something about this person letting their talent and their structure speak for itself. It's like I already got your attention because you guys are curious about who I am because of my build and my stature. And then when you go to look at my page, you see... Why do I feel like this person is like a poker player or something? Like this person but is like does chess tournaments poker tournaments anything that has something to do with strategy and challenging the mind and um like this person knows how to count cards this person knows how to if it's any type of illegal strategy for people to beat the games and stuff this person knows how to do it this person knows just how people dress, how people walk into the room, 
how people carry themselves, what type of player they are. That's why it's. I feel, that's why this person is so mysterious. With the Wheel of Fortune, it's a game of um, numbers and percentages. It always boils down to math. I feel like this person may be a, a, like a mathematician or like a science or uh, something that has to do with um, yeah I want to say like science testing things out formulas I'm seeing potions and shit too like serums Everything is about chance, fate, and numbers. Hmm. Interesting. Let me read this. Chess. It's a strategy, planning, checkmate, grand design, thinking ahead, tactics, moves, counter moves. Master plan, a course of action, a power play, a game of theory, consequences of actions. Hmm. Group number four, you would have to meet this person in their playing field. You would have to meet this person in their playing field or it just be a twist of luck and fate. This person is so focused on who they are and what they're doing I don't think that they would even pay any attention to you unless you're at the board game with them you would have to make them fall in love with your mind before they would even see your personality because that's what you're going to do with them you're going to fall in love with their statue with their stature in their mind Cause it's like, how in the fuck does this person do that? Like, how do you know what's in the other person's hand? You know, and again, it's about chance and numbers. If there's three of us playing, I know what's in my hand. So I know what cards were played. I'm looking at the face, the action. That's why this person... You don't know their personality. They don't put it. It's all fucking strategy, bro. And if you get the chance of fate to be on the other side of the table with them, where you get to really get into their mind, into their home, into their stratosphere, Oh man, this is an amazing person. You would get lost in amazement of just watching them do what the fuck they do. Like, this is such a smart motherfucker. And it's like, how did you get like that? I feel like this person was an encyclopedia uh, botanica kid. Number one, I feel like this person, when they were younger, they were always in trouble. <laughs> This was a bad little mischievous motherfucker. This person was always in trouble where they were on punishment so much. And um, back in the 80s and 90s, uh, we had what was called Encyclopedia Botanica um, libraries. If your parents had money like that and had volumes A through Z, y'all was some rich motherfuckers. So y'all had it because I might have had like four alphabets. I ain't have all of <laughs> them. I, I, I ain't about to hold you. We had to go around and see if there was anybody in our family that had the volume that we needed. But this person, I don't know if their grandfather or somebody in their family had all the volumes. And this motherfucker was always in trouble so much that the punishment was read the cyclopedia. And I want to, I want, I want. You gonna study, and I want a book report. 
I want you to really go in depth on the subject matter because I want to see that you have the ability to retain and learn something other than having your ass in trouble and getting your ass whooped every day. So that created a very knowledgeable person. You know, whether you like it or not, yeah, this person could get themselves into some shit, but it's like... <laughs> they are very calculated. And they know how to get themselves out of it. Since the Wheel of Fortune, Fate, Karma, Cycles, Forces of the Universe, get what you deserve. It's out of your hands. Destiny. Synchronicity. You guys are going to meet this person by fate. I really feel like you're going to take your time to know each other because it's about quality. I don't feel that either one of you guys are in a rush. Um, I don't feel like that any of you guys are even paying attention to each other on a relationship level. You are more intrigued by this person's and net skills in trying to figure out who they are and their, their, their personality. I don't even think that you guys even thought about loving each other at all. You were just more impressed by each other. This person is super impressive. It says the moose, imposing, powerful, independent, time alone. Attitude is everything. Calm, cool, collected, confident, solidarity. Didn't I tell you? This person keeps their poker face on at all time. This person only shows you a little bit. That's just like, I, I, I hate it when people just only post a hand of their newborn baby. But it's like, they post just enough to keep you that intrigued that you can't wait. You stay Glued to that page to see when you when they're going to post just a little bit more. A wrinkle on the face. Something. You know what I'm saying? How do you do this shit? It's like... Uh, oh, let me turn the lights on. Because I feel like it's starting to get dark. This person is extremely innovative, intriguing, and is a power player. Let's see what we got here. You got the Queen of Wands in the reverse, and you got the Ten of Wands in the reverse. Hmm. I don't even feel like I should be reading this in no reversals. But I'm going to take it for what it is. I want to say, especially if this is a fear, if this is a male watching and, and y'all pick this group, this woman may use her sexuality as a power play. Like, let's say y'all playing poker and y'all playing um, the Game of Thrones in regards to um, a position, movement. If y'all are going for um, a promotion, she's going to take that power play movement. She's going to come in there with a banging ass suit with her titties poking out a little bit. And she's going to make certain body gestures and she's going to lean for she's going to use her sexuality as a power play because she knows what they're looking for and you and, and you know it, it there's certain people that do anything for money you understand what i'm saying and this person doesn't have any problem with getting it have it be the good way or the bad way Hmm. This is someone that could talk you into doing their bidding for them. I don't know, y'all, because it's just these cards, especially with them coming out in the reverse. I feel like this is someone that could be starting all over. There could have been a removal. It could have been a removal. A restructuring. I 
I feel like this person had to bring a lot of brain power into the situation because it's like this person is under fire. This person is like on fire. If this is a female, like, because this doesn't have to be a feminine energy, this could be a masculine energy that's just attracted to a feminine energy that she's very curvy she's vivacious um she could be known to have an attitude problem like she could be a little bit spicy but she very much so knows how to use her sex appeal and sexuality to get what she wants and she has no qualms about it she really really doesn't She's a strategic player. And I know if I need to, if I want this job, this man keeps looking at me. I'm going to set my titties out. This nigga ain't getting no pussy. <laughs> but I'm going to do what I got to do to get this job. You feel what I'm saying? I feel like if this is a male... It kind of turns them on how this woman, um, and again, like I said, she could be a stallion. She could be very tall, very, like I said, she's tall, but she's statuous. She got thick hips, thick, luscious lips, big titties. I want to say big forehead, long hair. <laughs> She's just big. And she knows it. And they like it. And she uses it to her advantage. Even as tall as she is, she'll still wear heels and like tower over everybody. And it's like this level of confidence that she has. It's like it really turns someone on. It's intriguing. And it's like this person knows not to get that close because this person sees that this girl is on a mission. She's restructuring, she's rebuilding, or she's making power plays, making power moves. I don't know if you guys came across, I mean, you guys came across each other by fate. I'm just very... What the fuck is going on here? Because even with the two of clubs. The two of clubs is about like an exchange of energy. It could just be you giving time to someone. Talk, negotiation, bantering, and including somebody in something that you're doing. So. Huh. Let's see what we got here. You got Asian and thick thighs. I told you like this person is curvaceous. And it's like you got such a unique look to you. Asian and thick thighs. Baby, oh my God. I don't know if you're like Korean and 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 Caucasian or or something. It's like you're not full Vietnamese. You're not full Korean. You're not no. Like you're mixed with something where you have that tall, statuous, voluptuous build to you. Where you're so unique looking. You're so curvaceous. You have like the spicy. I could definitely see like a Korean. Like why I'm getting like a California. <laughs> Like a Bay Area. Like why am I getting like a straight cali out Bay Area chick? Like <laughs> grew up in the hood. Like spicy. And knows that everybody is intrigued by their look and their gangster. And it's like extremely smart. And knows how to use her looks, her curves, and everything to get what they want. 
I feel like that y'all are going to make power plays with each other. Let's see what we got up here. What's the tea? We got money, Pav. I'm trying to tell... Y'all focused on money. I feel like this this individual... Look, a fair woman. Dealing to a relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. I can see like that ombre. The black roots with the blonde at the end. Asian, mixed, Korean, Vietnamese, something like that. Mixed though. This person is mixed. I don't know if you're like Asian and black or something. Tall, light skin, ombre hair, thick. Then it says someone will gossip about your secrets. I don't know if this person used to be, because I, I'm not even about to lie, like, I don't know if this person had, like, a past history of, like, being, um, a prostitute or, you know what I'm saying, like, a sex industry or something, because the, this is the queen of wands in the reverse with the, t like, what? Like, she gonna get down, she gonna get in by any means necessary. It's like this person like learned the game real quick. Cause it's like how the fuck did you learn how to move like that? It's like somebody is studying this individual more than anything. Cause I am very intrigued by this person. Number one, like I said, because of their statue and their, their structure and their build, it's like you're so intrigued about what do you mix with? Where do you come from? Where do you, where did you come from? I've never seen someone look like that before. And then just how smart this person is, like how strategic, how this person moves, like, hold on. You just ain't come from anywhere like that. Like, nah, it's, it, I'm. I promise you, it gets this person going immediately. Immediately. And it's like this person gets sucked up in this person's beauty. But this individual does not let in on anything. It's like it's all a mystery. Only thing that you, only thing that this person knows is that this person is very smart. I met this person by faith. And this person is not like anybody else. Y'all, okay, I'm going to be 100. Guys, if... You're meeting someone, and this woman is very mysterious. She could be a 304. I ain't about to hold you. Like, this could be, like, a sex worker, um, especially if this person wears, like, different hairstyles, constantly changing their look. Like, every time you see them, like, they look differently or something. If they don't have, like, a strong connection with their family... Um, like if they don't have a strong connection with their family or could have been an orphan or go up in a foster care system or something like that. And the only thing that this person seems to really be caring about is money. Money with the queen of wands in the reverse and the ten of pentacles in the reverse. This could be someone that is into the sex worker lifestyle. Especially if they're not, they're, they're using their looks to get them ahead of life. They know they're beautiful. They know they're, uh, they have a unique look. And they're not letting on too much about their history, where they come from, their family and everything. Oh yeah, you better watch out because like this is it, giving me sex worker energy. Like, if you don't know, you're going to know. 
Because someone is going to be talking about, someone's going to tell you, you're going to figure it out. Somebody is going to be blabbing their mouth about the true tea with this person. So if you, or or you guys, if you're a female and you're dating someone, And you just feel like I feel like this 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 if if, if you're a female and you're dating a man, he may have a, a particular type. He may like women that um just got out of relationships or this person might have just got out of a relationship or something like that so they may want to be with people that um are like starting over or I want to say like women that don't have anything to lose It could just like horse. Like, I mean, not for nothing. And I, and I hate to make it sound like that. Because I, I, I'm really trying to... I don't mean to be stuttering a lot and everything. I'm really trying to use my words carefully here. Because the Queen of Wands in the reverse is like not a good energy. With the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. It's not... A, with, with the chest and... All in the money pack. No, it's not. It's not good. Like this person could be fascinated with strippers. And with this, I just, I just looked at it and just said, knocked another one down. Like it's all the. It's all the chess plays, all because think about strippers. Like when you're in the strip club and everything, like you gotta know the different personalities. You gotta try to predict. It's like a game of luck of what's in the other person's hand and how they're gonna play their move. Remember, I was talking about that before, right? It's like a card counter. But that shit is illegal, right? And again, like I said, like uh, this Queen of Wands in the reverse with this Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, yeah, did this bitch will do some illegal shit to get some money. They they will go about getting the promotion or do they will use what they got to get what they want. Do you understand what I'm saying? So either this is a male that is dating someone that you don't know that's a sex worker that's a stripper that has like a past or not a per a current life that uh surrounds money using what they got to get what they want as this person knows that the woman that they're dealing with and again this is is a uh, dealings or relationship with the woman with blonde hair gray hair or white hair or like i said someone that has that little ombre that likes to switch it up asian could be someone with asian descent mixed you could tell by their body structure and stuff you not a hundred percent asian at all you not the eight, you're not a hundred percent Asian at all, but like I said, their background, like this person doesn't have family, this person doesn't have support, this person has to do things that they may not want to do for security. This person has to use what they got to get ahead. This person has to learn how to fluctuate around different personalities to get ahead. Knocked another one down. So it's like 
the money path. This person is after money. It's not about an emotional fulfillment or emotional security. It's about financial security. This person doesn't have family. This person doesn't have structure. This person... I don't, I don't. I feel like this person could have came from a foster care system. I, this reading right here is more of a warning. I feel like for a man that is dealing with a woman that he has no idea that is playing chess moves on his ass. Like this woman does not want a relationship or anything. So pay attention, cause this girl is very intriguing very misleading too do you understand what i'm saying this woman is very intriguing but she is very misleading too she knows the power that she possessed in her palm seeds okay so don't get too antsy all right she knows the power that she possesses in her palm seeds so don't get too antsy okay i'll oh, reload it i feel like someone uh, um one of y'all men Hey, new boo, where are you? Your new boo? The new person? Now, and again, in these readings all of the time, I'm not saying that we're going to bump into our forever. Okay? I'm not saying that the energy that's going to come up is going to be our forever. But it's definitely going to let you know what's coming up the pipe. What type of nuances is coming our way. So, pile number four. I think you may need to get some more information. You may need, listen, what is this, the red tiger's eye? Okay? You better use your insight. And you know red means being grounded. You better be grounded in who you are and know you a superstar, baby. Don't you, be, don't you let these girls come over here and fuck around with your money and shit. This girl want money. This person is not looking for no family. She is not looking for no relationship. She's not looking for none of that. She enjoys what she's doing. And seems to think that she's going to find some success doing it. I don't see any success coming her way. Though. I really don't. Because this, this Ten of Pentacles is in the reverse, baby. I am so sorry. I am so sorry for you. But anyway, y'all make sure y'all hit this like button. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comments. And if anybody... If you guys, especially you men, if powerful resonated with y'all, if y'all have dated someone recently and you like, hold on, why is she giving me like 304 energy like she wants somebody to pay for some pussy or something? Y'all, please let me know because I'm just like, I, anyway, I love y'all. Y'all make sure that the best way to support me is by hitting that likes up button, that thumbs up button. And if you want to book with me, I am only, um, I'm going to cut off personal readings um, on February the 14th because I will be starting in school. So I'm not going to have time to do it. So if y'all want to get y'all personal readings, y'all better get them now because until I kind of get myself, you know, situated with school and, you know, kind of get a, a good flow going, I'm definitely not going to i'm going to do my recordings but i'm not going to be taking any um personal reading so i love you thank you for loving me i hope y'all enjoyed this reading i'll see you guys soon hopefully with some nails on my finger peace